Hello all, welcome to Global Online University. All those people who have given yesterday's case at examination, we have brought for you logical reasoning answer solutions for paper 1. So let's see how many of you have scored full marks in logical reasoning and those who want to see the solution, if they did not get the answer through this video, you will be able to know how we have come to the answer of logical reasoning. One more thing that I would like to tell you that logical reasoning was not very tough. It was of medium level. So let's see the answers. The question number 31 of a student that gave the examination. This is the screenshot of his paper. So this was the question that was asked. The question below is followed by two arguments 1 and 2. Decide which of the arguments is strong and which is weak. Choose the correct answer from the given below. The statement was there should there be a ban on product advertising. Arguments were yes the money spent on ad advertising is huge and it inflates the cost of the product. Inflates means making something expensive. The second argument states, states no it is an age of advertising unless your advertisement is better than that of your competitors the product will not sell now you have to say that if only the argument one is strong only the argument two is strong neither argument one nor two is strong both the arguments are strong so let's read the statement again should there be a ban on product advertising First argument is saying the money spent on ad advertising is huge and it increases the cost of the product. This statement is strong because you see there are the companies are spending thousands or lakhs. We, we can even say crores of money in advertising. You see the channels that are mainly watched by people if their product is being telecast on the television. They have to pay a huge amount of money. So. Just imagine if they are spending like 10 lakhs, 10 lakhs on some product. On advertising, this will increase the cost of one product. Okay. So the first argument is strong. Let's read the second. No, it is an age of advertising. Unless your advertisement is better than that of your competitors, the product will not sell. This argument is also strong because it is the age of advertising if a company is not able to show their product what are the qualities the product is having their product is not going to get sold so the correct answer is option d that both the arguments are strong so d is the answer of first logical reasoning question the next question that was asked is this in the following question, a statement is followed by two assumptions. So this is a statement and assumption question that was asked. The assumption, an assumption is something opposed or taken for granted. Consider the statement and the following assumption and decode which of the following assumption is implicit in the statement. Implicit means something that is hidden in the statement. You have to find what was the assumption that the person said while saying the statement what is the statement it glitters so it go so it is gold glitters means something that shines that is called glittering assumption is all that glitters is gold glittering things are not gold only now the options are only assumption one is implicit only two is implicit neither is implicit both are implicit let's read it again Statement saying it glitters so, is gold. so it is gold. Okay. The assumption says all that glitters is gold. This is true because whosoever said the statement he observed that all the things that glitters is gold. That is why he said it glitters so, is, so it is gold. Hence first is implicit. Let's read the second. Glittering things are not gold. So this assumption is wrong because they are saying it later so it is good so the correct answer here is only assumption one is implicit all those students who have marked option a for this their answer is correct also i would like to tell you if you have any doubts or if there is any change in the answer we will let you know in the comment section next is 
consider the following statement so i've left this space here so that we can solve this question let's see all countries are continents this is uh, these are four statements that have been given to you in the yesterday's examination and they said some countries are oceans no ocean is a sea all sea are continents now we were given inferences and we had to find that which of the inferences can be drawn drawn means or can be taken from the above statements the options were some sea are countries all ocean are countries some oceans are continents or all countries are oceans so let's solve this together all countries are continents let's draw this all countries are this is the circle for countries let's draw for continents okay a big circle i have to draw so this is continent now they are saying some countries are oceans so this is country we will draw here some countries this this is the circle for oceans now they are saying no ocean is a sea no ocean is a sea so there is no relation between ocean and sea and they are saying all sea are continents because you have to draw this inside this that is why they are saying all sea is continent it is coming inside the circle of continent that is why we are saying all sea are continents so you have drawn the you have drawn the picture of these statements now let's see which inferences can be drawn some sea are countries some sea are countries no this statement is cannot be drawn let's read this some oceans are continents okay let's see some oceans are continents i actually all oceans are continents you will see so we are not taking about some let's see all countries are oceans all countries are oceans no this is also false because in the statement they said that some countries are ocean this inference also cannot be drawn but if you read the second option all oceans are con continents so this ocean statement is is this ocean circle is coming inside the continent circle all those people who have marked option b their answer is going to be correct you might also get confused between some oceans are con continents because it is inside this circle but the most correct answer that can be drawn from this question is all oceans are con continents and the answer is b now these questions have put them together simple ones that is why choose the pair of words which show the same relationship as given below if tree is to sampling then let's read the pair rock is to mountain horse is to fall giant is to dwarf or hat is hut is to mansion if you say see hut and mansion these are opposite words so this is the wrong option giant and dwarf these are all giant means something that is very big dwarf is something that is very short a person if you see rock and mountain in this pair that has been given from a sampling a tree grows so you can say like a tree is the parent and sampling is a tree is the adult form of sampling okay what is tree this is Sam sapling is a baby tree if you see a uh, small like uh, plants that this is a small you you can call it sapling when you put it in pots you see you call it a sapling this like this is a sapling and the giant ones okay the giant ones they are called trees so this is the smaller version of tree if you see option b horse is to fall this is the right answer why because fall is the ba baby of a horse or you can say um, if you see in the other perspective you can say that a fall will become a horse in the future a one year uh, 
horse is called foal and after few years he will become a horse so the correct answer is b whosoever has marked b their answer is going to be correct let's look at question 35 among the four, four terms marked a and d three terms are similar and one is dissimilar find the one that is not similar options are jasmine lotus rose and marigold the correct answer is option b those who have marked option b as their answer it is correct because all these are land flowering plants and lotus is a flower that is that grows in water and all these grow on land hence the answer is b thank you for watching this video global online university is bringing all the answer key for people who have appeared in asset examination on 27th of september i wish those who are watching this video all of their answer is correct for logical reasoning if you have any doubt regarding the answer please write it down in the comment section and we will be happy to clarify your doubts